be a warrior. In Japan, if there was a fugitive locked away in a restaurant, you know what I'm saying, last resort type stuff, the police would first ask, is it a regular civilian or is it a samurai? Why? Well, because if it was a civilian, they'd take their time, de-escalate the situation. Daddy, chill. But if it was a samurai, they'd know they better get their ass right in there, right now. Why is that? Why did they have to rush in for the samurai, but not the civilian? Well, there's one thing that I really want you to keep in mind in this story. If it was a samurai, they knew they had to go in there fast and quickly and solve the issue. Because the thing about samurais is that they'd increase in resolve. They'd increase in their determination the longer it lasted and they'll f make fortifications and exploit their circumstances, which is why they had to rush in there quickly so that doesn't happen. Be the warrior, be the samurai in the midst of your circumstance, in the midst of struggle, pain, of grief, hard time. You can exploit your circumstance, you increase in resolve and you keep going. Or are you the type to just simply fold under pressure and accept defeat? So in this video specifically, we're gonna be talking about our goals and our breaking points. You often hear these things about burnout, resting, all that stuff like that. And I would say push past your limits. So the reason why I brought up that story is because it's important to figure out what those limits are as far as when you're approaching your goal, when you're approaching that thing that you want. Whether well, if it's buying a house, getting a car, becoming world champion, whatever it is, right? You have to determine what is your limit? How far can you truly go in this moment right now? And what is stopping you? Discover the breaking point of your own resolve and start to fortify that point so that you can eventually push past that limit later on. How do we do this? Set goals just before the breaking point so that you can reach past that limit. But with that, it's a lot easier said than done, right? With that, it's very uncomfortable. It's not going to be easy. Let's say you want to be world champion. It's going to be times where you're throwing up. It's going to be times where you're hurt. It's going to be times where you're tired. Find your breaking point and then keep on making, keep working, keep pushing past it. That's where David Goggins talks about callousing your mind. It All that means is that you're fortifying your breaking points so that you're not broken as easily, so that your soul is not taken as easily when there's a challenge. Why am I running in the rain, suffering in the storm? Running in the rain during a storm, wet, heavy, it does more mentally than it does physically in the actual fight. Because you know they're not out there doing that, but you are. You know, you can turn back at any time, but you're choosing to run an extra mile. So when it's fight time, who do you think is going to truly quit? That's what I'm talking about. It's the building things around your breaking point, fortifying yourself. Mike Tyson said this as well. And I'm just using these examples so you can get the idea of what I'm trying to get at. His coach actually didn't like for him to run. Because as boxers, right, running long distance, as we now know, sprints are more effective than long distance running because of longevity of the body. So anyways, off that tangent. But he'd do it at 5 in the morning, 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. Why? Because he knew his enemies weren't doing it. And in his mind, it gave him that extra edge, which was true. And it's not just to get a, a false edge, but it's that callousing of your brain that David Goggins talks about. Of No, I'm willing to do what others won't so that I can be able to do what others can't. It takes that extra work to be great. And that's what separates good from being great that I've talked about in my video before. What's going to make that separation? And it's going past that breaking point fortifying that breaking point, being that warrior. Instead of laying comfy with your wife, cozy, drinking coffee in the rain, in the storm, listening to the sounds and the ambience. No, I'm in that bitch. I'm running in that bitch. My clothes is heavy. I'm sweating. I got boots on. I had to get up with my wife being there and I'm running. I want to turn back, but I'm going to keep going. I want to turn back again, but I'm going to keep going. It's loud, thunder. I'm wet, cold, miserable, but I'll guarantee you when we're in that ring, I'm not the one that's going to quit. I'm not the one that's going to stop. That's the difference that it makes. These are times to, like I said, callous your mind. And little by little, you have those small wins. You have those small wins. There's an idea of the cookie jar. Specifically, things that people don't believe you can do. And so I'm sure you have these memories somewhere. And you start using them as proof, little by little. And then you, you keep doing these tasks. You keep doing these things. And you start using them as proof. Proof of what? Proof that you are who you say you are, who you believe you are who you truly want to become because that is really you. But like I said before, in these situations, you're letting go of who you are not. I hope I didn't speak too philosophically and like it go over your head. Watch the video as much times as you can because it helps me out. <laughs> but as well as like, I want you to understand what I'm trying to say. Watch it as much times as you can. If you can't get through this, like just keep watching it. You're gonna, it's gonna click eventually because I really need you to understand this. This is an important point between good and being great and being that warrior. What is gonna separate you? Who's gonna quit first? Especially in this competitive world, it's not just about fighting. We are men. We are going to compete against each other knowingly or unknowingly. If you really want greatness, it's how many people can truly achieve greatness and how many people are after greatness. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to be great, but how many people are after it? And how many people are willing to do the stuff that it takes to get there is what you need to understand. But that's the conclusion, man. That's pretty much it. Be the warrior. Be the samurai that builds in his resolve. Engage with this video. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all that crazy stuff. And that's it, man. We out. My love. Peace. Damn, just ruined my outro. Anyways, peace.